YouTube. Just got a uh, new survival shovel in the mail and uh, I thought I'd share it with everybody. It's the HX survival shovel and uh, really, really liking it. It's made of uh, stainless steel. It's got a really nice nylon head cover, a couple of really sturdy straps to attach to a molly webbing or belt. It's got a couple of pockets in the front. Stuck my JR30 in one of them and inside the other I've got my fire steel. has a quarter inch cord. It's not paracord. It's um, like a some quite, kind of a quarter inch braided um, rope around here. I mean, you could pull this off and and use paracord if you wanted to, but I think I'm just going to let this be. It seems like it's going to uh, work fine if I need it. Uh, it's there. So anyway, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a cool Shovel, shovel head. The shovel itself is, is is really really nice. the The metal is two millimeter thick, has a uh, serrated edge for sawing, has a chopping edge for for doing chopping. Do uh, kindling and so on really well with that has a nice guard here or lip so you can actually use your foot the toe of your foot to push down if you're digging in some hard soil you could push down on this and uh, get a little leverage the handle has great texture The, the end has a, a glass breaker. This is all metal here. This whole everything is metal here. It's no plastic, so this thing could do some damage. If you want to adjust the configuration, just unscrew, unscrew the handle, turn it over. Screw it into the, the opposite hole, tighten it up. Now you have a really, really stout hoe or pick. And that pick is the same thickness, so it's really sturdy. It's not gonna, you're not gonna bend that very easily, that's for sure. Inside the handle, is a knife. The blade is it's two millimeters thick, and it is six inches long, or like 153 millimeter has a serrated edge here inside the handle some screws And they've uh, they've got an O-ring here, and they, there's an O-ring on on this side, right here. 
So um, that'll keep moisture out. There's a, inside the handle, fell on the, the ground, um, is this little survival kit that comes with it. It's got a uh, match striker, three matches, two hooks, a monofilament line, and uh, two needles and um, some thread. So it's kind of a cool little addition to the handle here. And then this screws right back up in there. If you wanted to make the shovel lighter, you could just carry it like this and put your own um, storage items in here. There'd be quite a bit of room in here. The whole entire handle is hollow. So, you could put your own survival gear in there if you felt like it. This could be used as a, as a short club. And then you have this as a pummel. Also, you can attach the knife end to the handle and make a, um, a short spear with the handle. Another thing they, they've lined the inside of this the case with uh, kind of a plastic material, so it's going to be resistant to the sharp edges on the shovel. This is my turning point three shovel, and you can see the difference in size. It's it's quite a bit bigger than the. Uh, the, the turning point. It's um, it's quite a bit heavier too, but um, this is going to do more work um, than this is. And I use this specifically for backpacking. I don't use it for uh, car camping or anything like that. So um, that's a great tool. Um, I, I also bought one of these um, on. Uh, I think I bought it on eBay for like 15 bucks. Um, and this thing is a piece of junk. It's uh, if you see these um, shovels uh, anywhere on the on the web, um, I would just avoid them. There, um, you know, you got a plastic uh, nut here, and um, it's just thin stamped uh, metal that's um, just this really poor quality. The hinges is thin and. Uh, pop, you know, it's riveted. It's you know got a hollow rivet. It's it's not going to last um, very long. The the metal's really thin and it's all rusty inside and everything. That's the way this thing came. So um, I don't know. I guess I learned my lesson to spend a little more money and get a get something that'll actually. Use in a survival situation, not some toy. This is this actually should say Fisher Price on it. Um, but anyway, this is a serious tool, the uh, HX um, survival shovel. That's what I've got, and um, it's 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 pretty stout. The the metal is uh, 
is two millimeters thick. So this thing is not, there's no way I'm going to bend this thing. And uh, it's going to hold up to, uh, uh, it's just going to last a long, long time. So anyway, that's my, uh, my new survival shovel setup. Just thought I'd share it with everybody. Let me know what you think. Take care. Thanks for watching.